Today's episode of Inside Gaming Daily is sponsored by Movement. You can shop Movement's biggest sale of the year right now at movement.com and use code HOLIDAY19 at checkout. Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Monday! We clap for Monday. For Monday. I love hearing Brian clap over there. I'm Happy to be away from my family. Yeah, man, yeah. absolutely. Give it up for the guards. There aren't too many certainties in this life, but one is that people will absolutely keep giving money to Star Citizen no matter what they do. Oh, thank goodness. Something is continuing that's <laughs> good and true. The infamous crowdfunding project that still hasn't released a full game in seven years hit a new milestone. It has raised more than $250 million from nearly 2.5 million backers. What the <laughs> hell, guys? You almost cursed me, I did almost curse. I appreciate curse. that about you. <laughs> Actually, Connor, it's now up to $251 million. It can't be stopped. I don't understand. We're going to the moon! <laughs> Is the moon in Star Citizen? Have they patched that in yet? I doubt it. <laughs> so why has this game, which has failed to deliver for years, been so wildly successful at getting money from the fan base, right, guy? Well, we have a few theories that we'd like to get into, but first, let's do a quick rundown of the fascinating history leading up to this point. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, over the last seven years, Star Citizen, it started in 2012, at least the crowdfunding campaign did, as a project to make a super immersive space simulation slash combat game and a legendary developer running the show, and players really jumped on board to support it. Yeah, the scope of the project was huge with a ton of Star Systems to explore, on your very own ship, promised a level of depth and quality that had never been seen before. Its Kickstarter page said, Star Citizen is a destination, not a one-off story. It's a complete universe where any number of adventures can take place, allowing players to decide their own game experience. Uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> it promised that you could play as a smuggler, pirate, merchant, bounty hunter, or enlist as a pilot, protecting the borders from outside threats. Dude, shut the God. <laughs> oh, no. Finally, I can be a drug dealer in a video game too, not just in college. Just kidding. I was not that cool. You are a nerd for sure, I feel it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, nerds deal drugs now, Brian. Finally, I can fully escape into a video game forever. Yeah, it was kind of No Man's Sky before No Man's Sky was a thing. Players loved the idea of a PC-based space exploration game, and it was headed by a legendary name in the industry. Chris Roberts, the man behind Wing Commander, famously oh, two God. first names. He's British. I feel like that made people trust him more. Uh, oh, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. I trust any person with a British accent. Well, that's how Brexit happened. Boris Johnson's like, we're going to be so seated. And they're like, also, this was the height of the crowdfunding craze and people were backing all kinds of games, but Star Citizen was, to say the least, in a league of its own. Brag guy? <laughs> Good throw. I was Googling Chris Roberts. Apparently he's an American, <laughs> but he grew up in Manchester, England, so I was actually right. Does he? Uh, so wait, he has an accent. He's like one of those people who goes to study abroad for a semester and come back with an accent. Yes, in Barcelona. We crunched the latest numbers from the game site. On average, according to my math, which is always accurate, the backers gave over a $102 each to the game. That's money they could be spending on drugs. I thought nerds did drugs now, you guys. 2012 was a different time. It was the te <laughs> it was the teens, you know? Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I don't know, Usher was big, right? <laughs> Developer Cloud Imperium Games has also raised another $46 million in private investment, which means it's awfully close to raising $300 million. That's already enough to make some of the most expensive video games of all time, like Grand Theft Auto V, a game that exists and was made. <laughs> it's $5 on Black Friday, probably. Yeah, needless to say, Star Citizen is the biggest crowdfunding venture ever. Not just video games, of anything, which blows my mind. It's I don't so even know stupid. What Back then, they estimated that the release date would be in 2014, and then the delays started, followed by more and more and more, and uh, here we are today. So what's going on now, Brian? Right, okay. So as far as what they've actually released after seven years, first off, the game actually split into two games. There's a single player called Squadron 42. That had some big names like Mark Hamill, Jillian Anderson, Gary Oldman, and others. We got a sweet looking trailer for Squadron 42 a year ago, but it's not expected to go into beta until sometime next year. Next year being 2014? 2020, depending oh. on when this airs. Oh, sorry, my bad. I'm still thinking about Usher. <laughs> so there's nothing yet, but there is somewhat of a playable version of the second game, which is an MMO that's known as a persistent universe. The team recently put out its so-called Alpha 3.7 update, which added things like cave systems on planet. You remind me of a cave system that I want. What's happening? That's a good <laughs> That's Usher sweet. reference. That's Usher. That's, That's the show. I was in choir in high school, so I was real cool. I was in choir too, but I'm not gonna brag about that. Intersection leader. B 
I got the solo and Mr. Blue Sky, but went on a field trip and missed the concert. <laughs> if you're wondering, 3.8 of the alpha is due out sometime in the fourth quarter of 2019. And according to the company's own roadmap, it'll still be an alpha by the end of 2020. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, the Persistent Universe game still has no release date, and some have wondered if it'll ever come out. How would they wonder that, Brian? So people have wondered something was wrong for a while, and then in May of this year, Forbes published an explosive expose on the game's development, and it was a mess, kind of like we all figured. People who worked on the game said that it suffered from massive feature creep and that Chris Roberts basically had lost control of everything. Forbes reported that at the end of 2017, Roberts had just 14 million in the bank, although he has since raised more. A paltry 14 million, but here's the crazy part. People are still giving money to Star Citizen, like a lot of it. <laughs> a lot of it. That's like people still <laughs> donating to Coney 2012. <laughs> Same year, right? Yeah, you're right, no, it Coney was. Usher. We've split it into two different projects. There's Find Coney mm -hmm. and Seek Coney. I just refreshed the page. 500 more backers have given to it since I wrote this story a few hours ago. Guys, please, please stop. Here we go, checkbook's out, fam. One dollar. That's actually three dollars. <laughs> November was actually its best month yet with more than 9.6 million bucks raised. A lot of those donations came during the lead up to the Fan Citizen Con at the end of the month where they announced a new planet, awesome, and a new multiplayer <laughs> mode for Star Citizen's <laughs> FPS game, Star Marine. Star Marine <laughs> sounds like a fake game that Drake and or Josh would play. I almost got the high level in Star Marine. Ah, Drake, <laughs> you're Megan, you <laughs> So the big question is here, why? Why do people keep giving money to Star Citizen? Well, we're gonna get right into that conundrum right after we talk about our sponsor for today, Movement. Uh, which you can also throw money at this holiday season, but you would get a finished watch and not right. two vague aqueous, aqueous watches. Oh, it's, wow. it's not a spaceship, but your dad will never love you no matter what gift you give him. Wow. <laughs> I wrote that. That's not now. true. I still love you. Today's episode of Inside Gaming Daily is sponsored by Movement. Uh, Black Friday is here, everyone. I mean, it's come and gone. It's Cyber Monday, technically, but you know, those deals are still going on. And Movement Watch's biggest sale of the year is coincidentally also going on right now. For a limited time only, every single thing at movement.com is on sale. That's hundreds of premium watches, blue light glasses, sunnies, and jewelry styles with a fresh new discount just in time for the holidays and all of your familial gifting needs and friends too, if you have any, I don't. Haha, <laughs> self burn, hurt my own feelings. So this right here is my personal favorite watch from Movement. It's uh, got a sleek design, it's black, which I think goes with everything. It's easy to uh, wear with other stuff. It's got a nice big face on it so I can see because I'm blind. Movement watches are designed in house and are super sleek, clean, and they will not break your bank. You can shop their biggest sale of the year right now at movement.com and use code HOLIDAY19 at checkout out and you can get free shipping and free returns by going to movement.com code holiday19 that's mvmt.com code holiday19 join the movement everybody so uh yeah thank you so much for sponsoring this episode movement and thank you guys for supporting our sponsors give me a movement watch so back to our question of the day what is prompting people to throw money at this proverbial trash fire well the easy answer is that people really really want to support this kind of genre on pc star citizen has always advertised itself as being proudly on the pc in the tradition of space exploration games like wing commander oh made by chris roberts wow are we shilling for chris roberts right <laughs> oh no now? today's episode is brought to you by chris roberts obviously Obviously, they tapped into a deep hunger by the PC player base to support this kind of game, and probably a deep hunger for escapism as well. The game is touted to become this amazing real-life space sim, the likes of which have never been seen. What could be more attractive to a gamer willing to spend wads of cash to live another life between Nothing. shifts at till in the blank? <laughs> Insert fast food uh, restaurant here. Circuit City. I've lived that life. I know how it feels. You do not want to be in the world anymore. What else is going on with Roberts, Brian? Yeah, I mean, he is a legendary name in the video game industry and the fact that he was attached to the project and heading it up gave it instant credibility. He's known for it, like we said, creating Wing Commander. That was very successful, but that whole genre had been dormant for years on PC. Star Citizen promised to bring it back in a big way. That's just a ton of it. It was his pedigree. It was the genre of game. People are like, he's made a game before. What could go wrong? Turns out everything. I mean, <laughs> I mean we all saw it coming. Yeah, yeah. Chris. <laughs> Chris, come on, man. Chris with the... 
You were right there. Oh. And, uh, Four dollars. Pick that up. And you have to pick it up again. Again, though, this is all seven years ago. Why the hell are people still buying into this vision? There might also be something else going on here. It's called the sunk cost fallacy. This is what happens when you make decisions about the future, and those decisions are influenced by previous costs. Yeah, a classic example is if you've ever stayed in a relationship because you've already been with this person for a long time. Basically, the longer you've been together, the harder it is to break up. In the case of Star Citizen, longtime donors might not want to quit now because they've already invested so much into the project, and do you really want to introduce a new crowdfunded game to your parents this holiday? No, absolutely not. This is all I've got. I've just been thinking about the girl in fifth grade who broke up with me after one day of going together, so she didn't have a lot of sunk costs oh. in old PG. <laughs> That's pretty long for a fifth grade relationship. Was she hot? She had glasses and frizzy hair, so not a super catch, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh my god, it was Connor. <laughs> oh my god. Cloud Imperium is continuing to go after those big donors. Last year, they announced a ship pack, which includes every ship in the game, as well as a bunch of cosmetics and extras for the low, low price of $27,000. Oh uh -oh. my god, dude. Uh oh. Stop. <laughs> oh, and Cloud Imperium only made it available to people who already spent $1,000 on the game. Calling it a game is a strong word. <laughs> Stop. Brian, is there anything to balance out this ridiculous rundown we're doing right now? To be fair, some backers have lost patience with the game. There was a famous case two years ago. A dude who had spent nearly $4,500 on the game sued the developer in small claims court saying he'd become disillusioned with the delays and the broken promises, but that claim was denied. Another backer named Zerophil posted their experience on Reddit. They wrote that they played Star Citizen recently to see how it was progressing. Probably uh, well, right? We all think so, but it didn't sound too great. Surprise, oh, surprise. No. Zerophil wrote that it took me an absurd amount of time to even get into orbit. They're really going for the sim part in here as far as time consumed to get anything done. We're going for the sim part here as in life sucks and a simulation of <laughs> yeah. life should also suck Especially in space. It's boring and expensive, just like the real space. While checking out a city, Zerophil saw NPCs phasing into walls. That's awesome. Cool! That's the really floor cool. and each other. Meanwhile, all had the same look into the distance that said, kill me. That's the thousand feature. light year stare. That's worth a million dollars easily. They had backed the game. Zerophil concluded, I want the game to succeed, but now I don't think I would even want to play it. Not a state in my life where it just not bring me satisfaction. It's such a downer. Some said they have gotten their money's worth. One user, Wyeth, wrote, that they'd spent a total of $60 in the game and they played a total of 200 hours over the years. So for them, they said it was totally worth it. Yeah, I mean, $60 is a normal amount to yeah, spend Yeah, that's a, on game. a video game. They wrote Star Citizen is part Arma, part Euro Trucker, and part walking simulator with a gorgeous presentation. Nothing else scratches the itch of immersing myself in a sci-fi universe. The game isn't perfect <laughs> and I wouldn't let Chris Roberts set my clock for fear of always being late. <laughs> <laughs> but SC occupies a niche that keeps sucking me back in. Yeah, well, some have accused Star Citizen of being a scam. It might be more accurate to call it a project that has suffered from a massive amount of feature creep. As the money rolled in, the dev team started adding more and more features and even separate games, as we said earlier. So while they are making progress, it's just very, very slow. Meanwhile, the game subreddit has 173,000 members who are still defenders. We found a recent clip of a huge battle involving a giant ship called a Hammerhead that was fighting off an assault from other ships, and it did look cool. You know what? I'm full. I'll take that hammerhead for one million dollars. Please throw the money. <laughs> so despite all the vaporware jokes, which we also enjoy making, there is something there. But the question is, how long will Star Citizen take to finally release? Brian, any thoughts on that? I don't know. I mean, another seven years? That does sound plausible. But at what point will even its most dedicated backers just lose patience? I mean, if you're willing to spend that much money on this game, I don't know. I would just be refreshing constantly for the past seven years. <laughs> yeah. Is it released? Is it released? Is it released? <laughs> please, God, please. I spent so much money on this, I'm in debt. I wonder if any of the backers are dead. But if these fundraising numbers are any proof, it's still got a dedicated audience that are committed to seeing this through. And see it through, they will. God bless them. Why? Fucking <laughs> stop. <laughs> to their credit, if you go to their YouTube page, they have a ton of videos with, with behind the scenes guys who are talking yes. about yes. what's going on right. and what they're working on. Right. I'm like, that's great. You're communicating with, with, these, yeah. with these people. But the fact that they keep making ships to sell to people feels a little... It feels a little weird.